Travis, do the recap. Go. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so last time you guys um, started on your way back to the Academy. And, uh, I mean, you fought some, what were, what were they? They were, um, ice. Was it the Lynx? Yeah, ice Lynx. White Lynx. Oh, yeah, that was fun. How you guys just kicked the fucking shit out of them. They were um, so, they were so bad that Ryan thought that he, his ball could catch one. Right. Right. <laughs> And then you guys did the and then you guys did the uh mini game and you got a fog machine. That's right. Not, not yeah, a lot really happened because you guys machine. did a lot of lore talk, which is cool, but not really anything worth keep recapping because Yeah. So what one thing I did want to show you though is I updated the map um to show where Kamir was. Mm -hmm. So you now have a section of Festus that's colored to let you know where Kamir was. And I also put the ruins of Kimra on your map. Okay. Hey, you, you all you all sound very excited. So I will Looks great. <laughs> Looks great. And then on the world map. I added in the two um, lines that you guys had discovered that were on that one map. What was the map from again? Was that from the tower? Clock the tower? Clock tower, yeah. Yeah. So those are the two lines. Okay. Um, probably time for the song. Great recap. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao, Joe. It was really weak, and I'm sorry. <laughs> So, where we left off, there was one thing I kind of forgot when you guys did the fog. Right, okay, yeah, so as you, as you kind of finish figuring out what it does and everything, Welder, who's right there, says, um, um, just be happy this device 
doesn't require Chimerian cores. With Chimer gone, who knows where you would find them? Hmm. What are Chimerian yes. cores? Oh, um, they are de devices which power other devices. They can be made in a core assembler. At some point, when you have f f free time, we should travel to the former capital city and see what has become of it. It was called Kimra. That is a good idea. And I will share that item for you guys to see. Kimra, K-I-M-E-R-A? No, K-I-M-R-A. It's on the map. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. Are you powered by a Chimerian core welder? Uh, no, it, do it doesn't work like that. What does it power? Like, what kind of things does it power? Like, things like the fog machine? Yes. Devices. Gotcha. Like your tele or your not your teleporter, your flying machine? Was that is there a core in there? Um The Chimerian cores that um powered that machine were what caused the initial explosion in the first place. Okay. That's good to know. What does power you, Welder? Do you have any kind of device inside of you? Not that I know of. Uh, I don't know much about my own construction. Interesting. Well, this isn't probably the time to take your clothes off and examine you. Maybe another time, though. And maybe the professors maybe. can uh, learn what other functions he has, and maybe there's other things he can do. If you don't, if you don't mind, I don't mean to presume here. With clothes on or with clothes off? I suppose I don't. My mind. I have a lot of thinking to do about what I want to be. Test pilot seems like it's out. Well, unless uh, we can help them they have more stuff to test. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the academy says. Have you ever made love <laughs> welder? I don't think I can. I'm sorry to hear that. Anyway, uh, let's get, let's uh, let's head back to the academy. <laughs> so awkward. <laughs> Why don't you take off all your clothes? By the way, have you ever been late? <laughs> Are you an erotic robot? Okay. Well, which, they've been like which... trapped trapped for a thousand years. You right. should enjoy himself, well, there, for God's well, there... sake. Which holes do you have? <laughs> well, there's been right. like like anyone else would have gone totally insane. That's like true. that other dude and poor Welder was like trapped under a rock the whole time. He even had it worse. <laughs> At least he didn't he have to eat though. Yeah. He should have like uh, enjoyment in his life. I guess that's But really we know that you just want to fuck him. Right. <laughs> Is Smashy here? I'm here. Laugh harder, damn it. Laugh with the joke. About, thinking about banging Welder. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At least Teresa's laughing sometimes. Hey, Welder, do you want to be converted to a new religion? Sure. Tell me all about your god. His name is Sormes. 
Um, oh, that's who I follow already. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Have you met Sormies before? No. We have. Oh, wow. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? It's very impressive. I think we trying, did, to, didn't we? trying to impress Wilder here. Didn't he, didn't he fake being that guy that built that inn or something? Isn't that what we decided? Or did we actually meet him? He faked it? I don't know. He said he was somebody else, didn't he? No, I think that was him. But he I didn't say that was because I have no idea what you really remember and what you really don't. Yeah, I, I, that's why I'm asking questions because I don't firmly remember what the actual answer is. Lolly's Rest. That was the inn that got built. Uh huh. There. He was the guy, right? That was building it. Uh, yeah, we think so. But we he didn't built, really he built the inn for Lolly. Did we know that it was him, or did we just have suspicions afterward? <clears throat> Because it was such an mm. odd thing. He built it in like a day. Yeah, I think it was a suspicion. Okay. All right. Ahead and off the road at a barn, you see a farmer's wedding taking place. As you get closer, the ceremony ends and the reception begins. As you glance at these proceedings, continuing to walk, a nearby voice calls out to you. You know, it is customary among the followers of Julissa to leave a gift when one happens to pass a wedding. Looking for the source of the voice, you see a strange and very attractive priestess. She is a pink tiefling wearing a tight purple blouse and a flowing yellow and white skirt. She wears a white and pink religious stole and wears an amulet with an imprint of two interlinked hearts. I'll be right back. I we, want to approach this attractive lady. We don't follow Julissa. I will say, mm -hmm. oh, tell me more about this uh, custom. What's your name? Oh, well, my name is Cammy, and I'm a priestess of Julissa. I just married these farmers. Wow, that sounds great. Uh, I'd like to make a gift. Um, Great. You're making have, your gift? Yep, I have 10 gold I'd like to contribute, actually. Well, fantastic. The gift table's over there. Where are you? What are you doing at the wedding here now after your activities oh, are done? Would I'm you like to... to? I was going to enjoy the party. Oh, that sounds great. Well, why don't we enjoy it together? Oh, you're saying you want to stay? Yeah. It's fine with me. I'm sure the bride and groom won't count, won't mind. If they don't Especially mind, since yeah. you're bringing a gift. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Well, let me go make the gift. I'm going to go over uh, to the gift table. and I say telepathically back. to Yarrow, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. He can't answer. Hey, yeah, but he can think about it and watch <laughs> us all staring at him as he right? leaves us. Isn't isn't your telepathy one way? Exactly. Or... Yeah. But I ignore still... his. I ignore his comment. <laughs> Go get hey. the ten gold. Hey, yeah. Okay. Should we be stopping here? What time is it? Uh, four, four forty-two. <laughs> I think this is a good time to stop. I'd like to observe this wedding. This guy. Sounds like something we should be doing as part of the academy. Yeah, some music, to... some music starts playing and people start dancing. I asked Cammy if she wants to dance. She does. Yeah, I start dancing with her. All right. So I'm back. By the way, I'll, I'll get back to everybody else in a minute. But first, I want you to make a persuasion check and then a performance check. Okay, good, good. Also good. Okay. Um so anyway, guys, he's he's out on the dance floor with this pink tiefling and they're having a blast. What do you guys all do? 
I'm patrolling the area for monsters. <laughs> okay. Um, make, a, make, a, make a perception check. Make Me? Yeah. Yes, you. Okay. Teresa, what did you say you're doing? No, it was uh, Mary. I'm looking for food. You're looking for food, but what did Teresa say? I didn't say because I was gone. I don't know what's going on. Oh, okay. You're looking for food. All right. Uh, smashy, roll just a d20 for me. Um, so it's a farmer's wedding, and Yarrow went over, and this priestess was like, you should make a gift, so he gave him ten gold, and then he was like, can we stay? And she was like, sure, and now they're dancing. We all were puzzled why he was leaving. Well, okay. you guys are puzzled, but anyway. So, Smashy, you get over to, like, the buffet table where, like, all the food is, and you see that they had, like, roasted, like, this whole hog, right? And you get over there, and it's, like, all gone, and you're, like, depressed, but then they bring out another one, oh. and you get your choice of whatever part of the pig you want. Oh. Um, and then they have, like... Mashed potatoes and sweet rolls and ears of corn. I take two plates. All right. Baruch? What if I go, like, wander off a little bit and pick wildflowers or something as a gift? Sure. Make a nature check. Elios, you, you don't see shit. All right. What about my, my puppy? Does he smell anything? Let him do it with with advantage. Yeah, Baruch, you, okay. you pick a pretty nice bouquet of flowers. Hooray. And you give that gift. Uh, um, he doesn't find any monsters, but okay. he does he does spot in an open part of field a rabbit that isn't paying attention. I would like to hunt that rabbit. I have my spear. My magic spear. <laughs> Gonna kill a rabbit with a spear. Holy yep. shit. Alright, make an attack roll. Regular? Uh, no, you have advantage because it doesn't notice you. Silas is very sneaky. Yeah, it's dead. I mean, it had at most two hit points, so. Sweet. Um, yeah, this rabbit's just sitting here and all of a sudden the spear just... <laughs> And um, the rabbit's dead. And, um, um, what's the reason? Daphne, you see this. I shriek. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I just glance at her, but then mostly ignore her. And I start to make my own fire away from the party. All right. And then I cook I the rabbit. I cry silently and walk away. And then I use my my uh, my seasoning that makes the food taste good, and then me and Silas enjoy a nice meal. Nice. Okay, so this is how that went. It went... <laughs> and then... <laughs> wow, very accurate. Yeah. That was very accurate. Okay, uh, what are you doing, though, Daphne? I don't know. What, what's happening? It's a wedding. You're so at a wedding. Do wedding things, if you want. Um, I want to find a drink. Oh, okay. Um, make a... This is a perception check, but the DC is very easy. Uh... Yes, very, very crush, easy. You, you, spot it. It, you spot it immediately. <laughs> um, they appear to have cheap wine and like three different types of beer. Um, two of them are dark and one of them's lighter. I'm going for one of the dark beers. Dark. Okay. Um, it's really good. Yum. It's, it, it seems very fresh. They must make it nearby or something. Okay. I, I pleasantly sip it. But stand by myself and just watch. Okay. 
I'm just watching right. the guests, I guess. So you guys just going to stay for the night? Yeah, it's I guess so. good. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, you guys stay for the night. Um, Yarrow, based on your roles, d- do you want to have sex with this tiefling? Yes. Okay. And Baruch, you made a gift. Do you want to have sex with somebody? <laughs> um. No. Okay. All right. Well, that doesn't happen then. Um. It is. She is a priestess of Julissa, who is both the goddess of love and sleep. So you have a choice to make, Yarrow. Do you want to get the best night's sleep of your life or the best best night's sex of your life? Sex. Yeah, Yarrow's a young guy. Sex. Sex. Okay, yes. Yeah. So it's fantastic. In the morning, she's gone. No. You wake up, she's not there. But, holy shit. Talk about toes curling. Wow, what a great decision. Yarrow thinks that was the greatest decision of his life to he should. give that yep. farmer's 10 gold right. that he donated to this wedding. <laughs> yeah, and I can't, like, I'm underselling this. Like, it was, like, unbelievable. I just don't want to get graphic. Sure. Oh, good for you, Yarrow. So yeah, yeah you okay. guys in in the morning, Yarrow like comes out of wherever he ended up sleeping for the night, and he's like the happiest you've ever seen him. <laughs> What's with you? Great. I don't um, believe it. Yeah. Does that mean does that mean he gets extra hit points? No. Oh. He gets extra sex points. That cami was <laughs> amazing. Did you get I, robbed I, for sex again? Huh? I, when did I get robbed? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm in such a good mood. I don't. I don't care. Uh, I'd check your belongings. <laughs> you said she was gone when you woke uh, up. Right? Yeah, I'm sure. It's, I don't. She could have stolen everything. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> she could have stolen everything. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. Well, um, thank you for that that farmer for giving us that money so I could could get laid last night. Okay, so there's one, there's one piece of the night that I do want. So in the middle of everything where things had calmed down a little bit, Yarrow, she, she tells you, um, it is said that if you tell a priestess of Julissa something you care about, that good fortune will come your way. Do you, do, did you tell her something you cared about? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Um... That should be so easy. For people who have thought through their characters, yeah. No, I'm thinking of his character. What's oh. the answer? What's the one thing Yarrow loves? Well, Yarrow loves love mining. Sports. That's sports. Exactly. sports. He no. loves sports. I don't care about hey. mining. He loves his family, too. He wants to see them all the time. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's... You do care about well, mining. Yeah. I do. Um, or you could make something else up and add to your character. I say, um, Yara's is kind of drunk at this point. I feel like I say, you know, I always I was bad at helping my family out. I really wish that they could have good lives. And that's it. So the thing you care about is what in that? My fam- family. Family. I mean, that makes sense. He cares about him. He just doesn't want to see him. All right. No, he's, 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 yeah, he's embarrassed. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let's, embarrassed. let's just say I have a lot in common with the R. Come on! No, nobody left to grind twenty minutes. Ha ha ha, Joe! I, I care about my family. I just don't want to see my family. I'll get it. Shut up, Chris. 
<laughs> my mom loves me. <laughs> my name's love, yeah, you, you take that back. <laughs> Yar's just embarrassed how he's not helpful for to his family. They're all great at mining, and he's not. So <clears throat> it's true. All in all, good choice. Yeah, I mean, magic. Learning magic is certainly a great way to do that. Okay. You want them to learn magic? Could he have wished for them to learn magic? <laughs> it wasn't a wish. That's true. All right. Felt like a wish. That's enough. That's enough out of you. It felt, <laughs> it felt like a wish. I mean, I think he said, I wish I could help my family out, so. Yes, I hope they. <laughs> I don't remember what I said. <laughs> I, th I thought you. Said I hope. A wish. I hope that they would make a wish. <laughs> I think you said something like, "I always wished I could help my family out more," or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you guys. Well, have made it I all feel like that was a. I feel like that was a really good response because he did lead with, and Yaro's pretty drunk at this point. That's true. That's good. Yeah, you know what, Ryan? Like you can, you can have. You can have inspiration for participating in all of that. Yeah. Right. Yay. <laughs> okay. As you um as you've returned to Hillard's Wood, yet again you get the feeling that something is watching you. It seems like this forest gets more dangerous every time you pass through. So you feel like something's watching you. And that's because of the perception roll that was made. Let's go kill it. Just Okay, you're all in character. You're walking through the woods. And uh, I can't remember who it was that rolled, so let's just say a high perception person. Daphne says, "Wait, what?" He's leading you in. You say yeah, the you're thing. To say, I think something's watching us. Oh, I'm sorry. I think <laughs> something's watching us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then after she says that, I I tell Silas to. Uh, sn sniff him out, boy. Okay, well, as he starts to sniff, something bursts through the bushes and attacks. Uh, good job. Oh, no. Good, good job, Silas. Have... <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it wasn't a matter of, hey, let's find it. It was a matter of, is there anything we're going to do before it attacks us? Oh. But that's okay. Oh, I didn't know. That. I didn't get that. The way I you guys being spied the, on. the way you guys beat the shit the shit uh, everybody do a long rest by the way the way you guys beat the shit out of all my monsters I don't feel like you need extra time to get ready assholes I mean if we didn't see a thing then we probably wouldn't prepare for nothing yeah Your well there's no paying attention I just mean there's no surprise round because of the it was ended up being a good perception roll oh I need to put watcher out um. You need to put who out? Not watch. Welder. What? Welder. Welder. Yeah. Guys, I I have a quick question. Sure. If your if your mouse, like, the mm -hmm. sensor part stops working, does, is the mouse just fucked? Is the battery dead? I don't know how to change the battery on it. I mean, that's probably step one. Figure out if it has a battery. Mm hmm. Okay, continue. I would think is it is it wireless? Then it probably has a battery. It's Bluetooth, and I couldn't figure out how to get the battery. If there is one, I don't know where it is. I I don't know if I have to unscrew this whole thing. Um. Yeah, you could. There's probably a way. I mean, unless it just charges. Is there a USB? -C yeah, it's port? a. Yeah, it's a USB C. Did you try plugging it in. Mm -hmm. And it charges, and it blinks like the connectors it's like blinking okay. it's just the sensor itself is not working i see so it has power mm -hmm. it's it fully on? charged yeah it's on <laughs> it's fully charged it's just the sensor is not working on. it's probably fucked does a clicking yeah. work if you click does that work i can hear it clicking it just doesn't yeah but it doesn't like, register on your yeah. computer maybe it's not paired like if you oh, put no, it on I your map I tried last time. I I like on what is it? Not undownloaded it. Like I removed it from my computer and then re re put it in there, resynced it. It says it's connected, 
but the sensor is just not working. Like the sensor would normally turn red. Like I would see the red light right. if I you hovered. the shit out of it. <laughs> yeah, it's not working. Okay. I think it's fucked. She's dead. It does sound mice? Fucked. Mice are very cheap. Don't worry about it. Buy a new one. Yeah, I'm gonna just buy a new one. Did Gabe okay. spill a drink on your mouse too? <laughs> oh God! I had that mouse ever <laughs> since I started working at the law firm. <laughs> <laughs> Gabe comes in and just spills a drink on it, and it's just fucked. You had, like just told me that he does that, like the day before right, he yeah, did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whenever Gabe comes in, watch out because he spills watch shit your all drinks. over the place. Yeah. When was it? When was this? A couple months uh, ago. Right, right after Travis started, really. Oh, uh, okay. He just came in, just yeah. all over my mouse, and just <laughs> it's just <laughs> dead. Okay, you guys are being attacked by some kind of cat dragon. Oh, jeez. Oh, you guys see the picture? Yeah, it's pretty. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the noise it makes? It goes... <laughs> Quick, Yarrow, catch it in your Pokeball! You know, Everybody roll. Like a perfect Pokeball. Waiting for Daphne, I think. What are we waiting for? You. Sorry, I'm ordering a mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't blame her. Uh, I, I really don't. Uh, it's really uh, fucking annoying. That's what Travis. That's what I was trying to say. When remember when I I clicked on the screen and you were like, "What are you doing?" Yeah. It was because I'm trying to right fucking click and drag, and I can't do it with my the pad on my laptop. Track pad, yeah. Like, we're doing a uh, running through initiative. Out? How do you zoom out? Oops, Scroll. Okay, so that's really, how you move. Oh, you can't have a mouse. What was on the keyboard? How do you zoom out? Yeah, I don't know. Probably control minus though. Oh wait, I figured it out. I figured it out. I'm the plus and minus. Uh, roll for initiative. Okay, under the journals. Yeah, it's just plus and minus by itself. Under the journals, I added it, the picture of the feline wyvern, so you can see the whole thing. So you, you guys want to look at it? Is it an intelligent creature? You don't Is know. that close? We've never seen anything like this before? No. Okay. Oh, I didn't roll well. Then. Oh, wow. Isn't it cute? Wait. I like it. I wish I could capture it in my mm-hmm. monster ball. Can it be mounted? Yes. Sorry, Silas. I'm going to need this <laughs> cat gonna, dragon. I'm going to need this cat dragon. <laughs> Silas is like, I want to mount it too. <laughs> this can go into my monster ball. There we go. What is the solution? <laughs> I think his challenge right. rating is uh, three, so I think that's too high, too. All right, Daphne, this thing has burst from the bushes, and it's going in the middle of the initiative. Hooray! Not last! Uh, oh, it's still fucked. Don't worry. Uh, uh. Oh, it's <laughs> You piece of shit! <laughs> Wow, what an asshole. All right, that's it. I'm adding resistance to all damage. No, that hurts it. It's dead, right? It goes... <laughs> oh, oh, 23 does hit. So Nice, nice. I'm um, also going to do... I would assume the cat doesn't like fire. We'll see. To say. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yay! Good roll. That's bullshit. I rolled a 12. That's not like, good. I'm just good? joking. Not bad. I Over did, 10. I did. Are you done? Okay, it's going to use a legendary action. No! Um... Jeez. Let's say, geez, the last seven things you guys fought, you took like five damage and killed it. <laughs> Pretty sure I saw Daphne recover, or okay. Daphne, so I read recover 31 hit points, so. That's true. Everybody make a constitution saving throw. That is true. I saw the that too. The cat releases an ear splitting howl. Oh, welder. Son of a bitch. Oh, Cyrene and Silas. 
Okay. Brook. And Welder. Welder, Silas, Cyrene, and Baruch all fail. It's not so a lot of people. How could a bunny standing right next to it with these big ass ears? You put your ears down. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, everybody who succeeded takes three, everybody who failed takes six. Like three what? 300? Um, no, thunder damage. Wait, I'm sorry, oh, I thunder take damage. three. I have resistance to thunder damage. Well, there you go, you take one damage. Aha! You said I Finally take came three. in handy. Yes. Silas takes six. Tyreen takes six. Okay. And now it's your turn. Um. Hmm. Did the creature seem hostile when it originally appeared? Yeah. Okay. It wants to eat you. Who has the party inspiration? I forget. Baruch. Okay. Baruch. Baruch. Baruch is on fire. That's, um... <laughs> Fireball maybe is not the best choice, but I'm going to go for it, I think. 20-foot sphere. Use your psychic lance. Yeah, it's a fourth level spell. Oh. I can right. just hit him with fireball, so I'm going to do right. fireball on and him. So that tree bursts into flames, too. Yep. Wow. Good yeah, roll. he saves, huh? Still takes half damage. Let's take half damage. Yep. So do that. Oh, I um, I'm gonna use it, couldn't I? Sure. I'm gonna move a little bit, and then I will bardically inspire. I'll do Nelios, I guess. And uh, still just, just like, remembering the, the night before, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, like, let's kill this thing. You know, I gotta go find the cami again. That's my inspiration. Sweet. And then that's the end of my turn. What's that circle on you? I don't know. <laughs> we'll delete it. I don't think I can click on it. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, huh. said Bardic Inspiration. It's weird. Oh, I did that. All right, Welder's turn. I made a token for Welder, so he can go now. Um, Welder. Um, I don't think he wants... He's only got 30 hit points total, so he's not going to charge this thing. Um, he's just going to make sure he's close enough that he can throw a javelin. Yep, he already is, so he's just going to toss a javelin at it. Ooh! Good job, Welder. Good attack. Um, and he is going to... He does have 30-foot movement. He's going to just move down so that he's not too close to this thing. At the end of his turn, um, the Wyvern is going to extend its claws rapidly toward Yarrow and whip a claw at him. Um, wow. There it is. Claw toss. Um, that's a dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. Okay. You take 12 piercing damage as this claw just sticks you in the chest. Ah. Uh. All right, Tyreen, you're up. Um. Mm 
15 is a miss. Mm. 18 hits, so you can do your sneak attack damage. Yeah, see, there you go. It's still a 19 damage attack. Mm -hmm. Wow, let's go with sneak attack roll. All right. Wyvern turn, baby. That's right. Joe uh -oh. gets turns this game. Uh -oh. Um, I'm scared. Okay. I think for this it would just attack the two people that are next to it. Um, yeah. You tastiest. So, yeah, what I'm going to do is it's going to claw Cyrene and then try to bite her. Uh, only a 13, so that misses. Mm -hmm. Then it tries to bite you natural one. And so while it's doing horrible trying to attack Cyrene, its tail is going to whip around and try to sting uh, Daphne. She's motivated because she has that extra ham in her in her pocket. And she doesn't want to give it up. Okay, Daphne, you take 13 piercing <laughs> damage and you need to make a constitution saving throw. All right, bear with me with this stupid lack of a mouse. You got this. <laughs> yeah. Good yeah. Good job. Um, <laughs> so you take half damage. Uh, of what? Yeah, it didn't roll the poison damage for some reason. I may have to fix that. I'm going to roll it. You take 20 poison damage. Holy shit. <laughs> oh well, my God. that's bullshit. Let me see here. That was a good roll, too. Look at those fucking fives. Up oh, sixes. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm supposed to roll. There's a versatile damage button I'm supposed to hit. Okay, I'll remember that next time. You take 20, 20 poison damage, and it is Baruch's turn. I'm going to... Cast Mage Armor on myself. And run away. Yeah. <laughs> good turn. <laughs> um, yeah, good turn. Alright, my turn. Okay, let's see what I can do. Um, there's no point in doing the breath. You, did you change my breath weapon on here? I forget if you did that or not. No, no you we're going to take a look okay. at that. Um, okay, I don't need to use it right now anyway, because it better gets multiple If enemies. I don't change it, I'm going to forget, though. Where is okay. it? Okay. Uh, it's in active breath abilities. It's third from the top. Um, Isn't the damage right? What is it supposed to be? Uh, I think you were changing the damage. Um, let me see what you said. I texted you something. Yep. Because I looked it up. 3d6. Well, you want it to be 3d6, I think. Yeah, why does it say and 2d10? It as... I don't understand that. Uh, I think you would change it at a, different, at a different point to make it stronger. Okay, so it should be... Yeah, because it goes up, and it'll go up again at 11th level. So, so we got to change that to 3d6... It's just one attack now instead of a full action. And yeah, instead of one action, it is one. I don't know, one special. I don't know what else to call it. I should say one, it's, the cost should be one attack. Yeah. Oh, it already That's says when you take the attack action and turn. I didn't change that. It already says so. It says what? In the description, it says when you take the attack action on your turn, you can replace one attack with your breath weapon. Oh, really? Yeah. I guess I, I just didn't, didn't I realize didn't, that. I didn't change that text. Already there. Okay. I guess I just didn't see that it said that. 
But anyway. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Wow. Um, uh, so yeah, I think I hit him at 16 plus 8, so 24 damage. Brook, you he's... just cast Mage Armor on your turn? Yes. Okay. Then I attacked with the 27. Okay, yeah, that hit. So it takes 16, 16 plus, eight. plus 8. Okay. And then I will attack again. That hits. And then I will do another... Divine Smite. Okay. Five more damage. Okay. And then my wolf will do his two attacks. Oh, he is also at advantage. So crits. Did it roll the crit already, or do I gotta hit that now? It roll or. I didn't do it at advantage again. Okay, the second one misses. Okay. Um, and yeah, we're chilling. So I'll end my turn. Okay. I gotta start giving these monsters more hit points. Um, at the end of his turn, I'll use a legendary action to claw toss. Hmm. I guess it Nellios. Okay. Make a dexterity saving throw. I did okay. check, but I still fail it. Yeah, you take 12 piercing. Alright, yeah, it's just plus one. So, uh, 12 damage. Yep. Just to me. And it's damaged. <clears throat> okay. Miss. Damn. Miss. Um. I'm gonna use my inspiration and reroll. Okay. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> that was a good choice. Okay. Ooh, that was a good one. Oh wait, was it? Nah, it was alright. Um uh what's what's going on with Giant Smite? What do you mean? Why'd you roll it? Cause I'm using it. So did you mean What to are use you confused about? Did you mean to use it at the beginning of your turn? No. It's a bonus action. Does it have to be used at the beginning? Well, it doesn't let you do extra damage on the attack if you weren't big when you attack. Hmm. Yeah. Right? If, if you hit him and then grow, like, how did you do the extra damage? I did it at the same time. Let's just say you did it at the beginning of your turn. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, and then I'm gonna rabbit hop my way away. Okay, and it can't take an opportunity because of that, right? Correct. Okay. Cool. Oh, Did you turn over. Sorry. Okay, legendary action that throws a claw at you. Make a dexterity <laughs> saving throw. Oh. You're laughing at the damage, <laughs> which is pretty low, so... Okay, you take seven piercing. Alright, Yarrow! I'm just gonna shoot it with the crossbow. Okay, that hits. And uh, move over here. That's it. All right. 
Welder. He's just going to get a little bit closer. Throw a javelin that hits. And then he's got 10 feet left. He'll back up again. Um, at the end of his turn, claw toss at him. thing. I don't know how to reset its legendary actions, god damn it. Bye. If you don't figure out how to reset it, does that mean you can't use it again? No. It just means he has to put one of us to death. Yes, that's what it is. Damn. Get out the death wheel. <laughs> Let's do this. I don't understand. Okay, well, I'm not gonna. I just, I guess I don't know how to reset it. Um, the modifier is supposed to be. Oh, it's a dexterity saving throw. Uh, so that's Welder has to make a dexterity save. He passes, takes no damage. And it is Cyrene's turn. It would be advantage, since Elias is over there, right? Yep. Okay. Uh, that kills it. How do you kill the kitty? Hey. Oh. Um. Right. I I don't know. Uh. Try and panic. Light the. <laughs> yeah, I crawl underneath it and and run with my my sword up and I drag it all along its underside. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ, okay. Cyrene gets covered in guts as this thing dies. Badass. And Cyrene, as, uh, as this thing dies and its guts cover you and a little bit gets in your mouth, um, you get hit in the face by a ring. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, neat. Pretty. Um, let's see. Party inventory. I will put it into the party inventory. Protection. Mm. Pretty good. So what are you doing with it? 
Uh, is there supposed to be a description in here or just the? Um, you have to click the little I eye, click the little eye button for the bottom. On the party inventory, there's an I button. Yeah, it says has additional game data. Oh, I thought you meant like a legit eye. Okay. I mean, <laughs> that is a legit eye. Like an eyeball. <laughs> like a crisp four? It's, it's an eye with a ball around it. Yeah, All it right, is an I'll eyeball. You too. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Chris, you get you get inspiration. I had inspiration. All right, you get it. Double? No. Triple? He gets the ring. <laughs> Triple? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, does anyone want this ring? It does require attunement. Is there any, a limit to the number of things you can be attuned to? Three. Three. Okay. How many One, are you attuned to, Smashy? I think... Yep, three. I already got three. Smashy, what are your attunement items? Here is one. Mm -hmm. Well, have you ever used <laughs> color <laughs> spray? What? No, the I ring. have not. So maybe you don't want that because yeah, maybe you have a hard time finding a use for it. So maybe replace that with the other ring. Okay, I can do that. Which, which one? The rainbow uh, ring? She hasn't ever used color she, spray? It actually says she's not even attuned to it. Oh. Oh, it shows the little... It should actually be gray to say oh, that you're attuned to it. If it's black. Yeah. yeah. I love that they use two colors that are very similar, too. It's great. Right. And and I'm, I've looked it up. I've looked really hard to find somebody who fixed, like, attunement to make it better. And no one even fucking talks about it, let alone actually fixes it. I don't understand. And, I, uh, and honestly, it should be it should be opposite. If you're attuned, it should be black, and if you're not, it should be gray. I mean, like, not only should it be opposite, I should be able to just fucking click it. <laughs> right? To, yeah, to you have to go edit it and... it. Fucking crazy. There's literally a crazy. button to put it on, but not to attune to it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Teresa already has one, so her character doesn't need it. Okay. Has what? Color spray? No. Has what? Ring of protection? Ring of protection, yeah. Double. I think, I think, I, think I, I bought I think I bought one at one point and then I got the cloak of displacement and gave gave the ring to yeah. Daphne. Yeah. I think yeah. Smashy's replacing her rainbow ring with that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. It's a, do good, you guys a want, good item. Do you guys want the fights yeah. to be harder? I think they could be a little harder. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want you to kill us. I mean, per I se, but I, I like the threat don't of kill being me. killed. Yeah. I, I well, got, uh, took a lot of damage. When we get to other. Yeah, but you guys didn't have to heal at all. Um, when sure. we get to adventures that have more combat, there will be more fights back to back. Mm -hmm. Whereas now you can just like Travis can fight and just smite, 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 smite yeah. every attack. Yeah, that's why I'm, that's why I'm doing it because I'm like I'm not going to use all these before we kill this thing. Okay, Smashy, let me know if you have trouble putting it on your character sheet or attuning to it or whatever. But note okay. that if it's working correctly, your AC should be 16. All right, so um, <clears throat> you guys make it all the way back to Shavonio. It takes two more days. One, two, um, and you get on the ship and you start heading back to the academy, and you are approached by Captain Johns Welvin, the uh, the captain of the of the ship. Okay, um, and he walks up to all of you and he says, "You all, you knew Jim Melodies, right? The Bard." Yeah, we did. 
Yeah, did you hear what happened? No, we didn't. Oh. Yeah, apparently him and his, his two workers there, they're all dead. Oh, uh, no. I revived him. We spent a diamond on them. Well, it's, that's too bad, I guess. Yeah, they're dead. How'd they die? Apparently. Uh, well, there isn't a lot of information on uh, how they died. It, it just that it happened someplace in northern Gardenia and that uh, his rug, his loot, and all of his money was stolen. Wow. I don't know. What was this? <clears throat> uh, pretty recently, I guess. I mean, I just heard yesterday. Uh-huh. But it's all kind of kind of rumor right now, you know. Hey Joseph, this is a question to you. Do you know? Do we know how long we've actually been gone for? I don't know if we ever talked about if the time thing really clicked. Time was just moving like, in real time, so you guys you guys were in there for like ten hours. Okay, good. Okay, never mind. Just want to make sure. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Is there anybody you know that might know more information on that? I mean, I doubt it. I, I heard it at a tavern, but, you know, everybody's talking about it. Mm. It's uh, kind of rare that, that, you know, one of, like, the hero types mm. gets killed, you know? Yeah. We'll have to look into that if we're ever up there. Northern yeah. Gardenia, right? Isn't yeah. that where uh, you're from, Daphne? Um. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you're, you're like actually, the map. I'm trying to look at the map and I can't <laughs> fucking zoom out. You are at the northernest northern part. Is where you're from. So maybe your family knows something. Yeah, maybe. Want to write them a letter? <laughs> Would Nelio say <laughs> these things? Absolutely not. <laughs> He's really smart right now, so... Oh, the, yeah, okay. He's got the headband, so... Yeah. Wait. Does he talk like a nerd now? Yes. Yes. I'm very strong. I... Yeah. Write a letter. <laughs> write a letter. Write a letter. I like writing it's letters. Like courier. Yeah, this He'll is get where... there I'm... in no time. This is where I'm from. Yep. Do you know where exactly in Northern Gardenia? Yeah, he's, he's marking it. No, he doesn't. Oh, he oh does, sorry. He doesn't, he doesn't I thought you were asking her. He doesn't know oh. anymore. Right. Are there any services for Jim? Uh, I mean, uh, I don't <clears throat> think so. Yeah, just curious. All right, thanks for telling us. Have you ever heard of a, a tiefling named Cammy? I'm looking for her. <laughs> you, I mean, uh, uh, I mean that sounds like a pretty specific person, but no. Okay, all right. I mean, maybe she's famous. That's why he was asking you. You know, she's famous. Yeah, I mean, she, she would be a specific I mean, person. That's why I was asking her name. You know, she seems uh, like she does a lot of weddings or something. Uh, well, no, I, I've, uh, no, never heard of her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You, you would know if you had heard yeah, of her. Yeah, you would know. Anywho, any, anything else going on? <laughs> no, any couriers? Want to write us a letter? <laughs> All right. You guys get back. To the academy. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to let this go any further. It'll keep going, too, if you yeah, don't stop no. it. I can't control okay. myself. <laughs> shortly, shortly after disembarking, the party sees Professor Perezny quickly approaching. Tenezi, welcome back! You weren't gone too long. How did it go? It went amazing. We did it. We fixed you, the problem. You got the shield. Oh, you fixed the problem. We got the shield too. Yeah, Sirene. Okay, oh, that's I right. have it. What do you mean you fixed the problem? Oh, we uh, we stopped the dome from being a dome. It is Holy. no longer doming. 
Really? Yeah. That's it was pretty, they were more impressive. It was and you got horrible. the shield too? Yeah, I've got the shield here, and this is Welder. We um he is from a thousand years ago. He like walks over and he's like looking really closely at Welder. And he's like, <clears throat> a mechanical man. These haven't existed for so long. But can you talk, sir? Um yes, I can talk to talk. Yes. Interesting, interesting. Oh my goodness. Very good job, students. Very good job. Can I see the shield? Yes. I hand him the lion's portion kite shield. He takes it and, and looks at it. And he's just like stunned right now. You guys you guys have hit him with three like any one of these you think would be a huge deal to him. You fixing the thing, having a mechanical person, and finding the shield. Do you remember why he wanted you to find it? Did he tell us um, why? I yes. think because it was... Uh... Go ahead, sir. I'd rather hear it from Cyrene than me. Something about... Giovanni was gathering magical items. Um... Yeah, he thinks that there's somebody yeah. out there that is trying to gather powerful artifacts. And he he had he had learned that this one was likely there, and he wanted you guys to get it before whoever this was could. Um, this is fantastic. Thank you so much for getting this. Um, do you mind? Can I take your new friend with me to talk while you get debriefed by Dean Steelbelly? Yeah, we thought he actually would enjoy uh, the work, maybe working here and, and helping you with research. Yes, yes, no doubt, no doubt. Uh, what is your specialty, sir, and what is your name? <laughs> well, I w w w was a test pilot. I My name is Welder. I'm pretty good at b building things, though I don't necessarily know how they w w w w work. Okay, okay. That's fantastic. I mean, I'm sure you have an aptitude for learning things, too. You could be a big help. Why don't you come with me? And students, you go to back to Goldvier Hall, and, and uh, Dean Steelbelly will, will uh, de debrief you. I know that he, he knew you were coming because you had caught the ship to get back, and he's waiting to talk to you, but I do have to, I do have to remind you that, remember, you weren't supposed to go inside the dome in the first place. And so... Uh we have uh, more information on the whole place, too, uh, if you want us to tell you about it later. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. But what, what, I'm, what I'm saying is... Don't tell him. I don't really want Dean Steelbelly to know that I told you to go in there. So okay. what I'd rather you all do is just concentrate on how great of a job you did, because holy shit, okay? So he's probably going to yell at you for going inside the dome, but like... You didn't Re tell us. Redirect everything to like, yeah, but holy shit, right? Look at what we did. <laughs> All Absolutely. Right? Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. come, come see me. To, I, I, I would love to hear all the other things. I, you're going to have to repeat yourself <laughs> because Dean Steelbelly will probably want to know everything as well. Um, but I am just. This is fantastic. Great job. I don't know Thanks, that professor. I don't know that any second year class has ever accomplished something this this extraordinary. I mean, students in later years, fifth year students or whatever have have done some pretty amazing things, but holy shit. Like seriously. Good job. <laughs> I I try to give everyone a high five. Yeah. So he 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 just like virtually like takes off running with Welder. Um, like he he's like excited. Like he doesn't do the like jump up and click your heels thing, but you feel like he <laughs> might at any moment. Right? And nice. so you guys head over to Gulvier Hall, go in, and when you get into the mission room, um, Dean Steelbelly actually enters the room right behind you. Um, and he's being followed by someone you've never seen before, or someone you've seen before but never met. It's a middle-aged female herringon. 
Um, she's gray and has uh, an almost perfectly straight line of black running horizontally across her eyes. Uh, you'd recognize her as one of the librarians. Um, okay. You all kind of sit down and, and, and steel belly. Remember, he's a dwarf. Um, he, he begins uh, speaking almost as soon as he sit down. He says, um, uh, Students, I... <clears throat> this school is about training individuals to responsibly use music to help the world, or at least to help governments or employers. And a big reason for the donations the school receives from the governments of Delvum is because the school is so reliable. If nation leaders request our aid, and they list one single thing that's off the table, and our students ignore that instruction, why would they continue to fund us? Because we get the shields. You get we the get what? All the magic shields are ours. What are you Very... talking about? Uh, what's it called? This is the first I'm hearing about a magic shield. What are you talking about? What? We found you weren't ancient... supposed to go into the dome in the first place. The leader of Festus specifically said he didn't want you to go into the dome. And apparently it's the first thing you did. Have you heard oh, of the lion's the portion first thing we shield? did. No, I've never heard of it. Oh, shit. Well, you know, we found it. It's important. It's great. Magical Where bar. is it? Uh, we handed it over to... Um, the first person we saw, which just happened to be... What's his name? <laughs> I didn't write his <laughs> name down. Donatello. Uh, Donatello? Yeah. You, found a magic, has... you found a magic shield and gave it to, to Professor Perazny? Why? Uh, well, he, he saw was the first... it. He, we have a robot from the ancient city of Kamir. Yes, I heard. I heard about the 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 construct. Yes. Um, and so he was so interested in him that we showed him the shield, and he took it for research. Okay. Uh, he we saved, uh, he saved a bunch of people. So I'm gonna have to. We saved I'm gonna the whole have town. To... I'm going to have to talk to him about this. This is the first I'm hearing about any shield. I see. Well, uh, the shield was the one thing that caused the problem in the dome, and we actually were able to fix the problem and save the people stuck in the dome. Yes, I... I... It's been, been a thousand, thousand years. I get that, yes. The, the, your mission was supposed to be the first step of many in undoing the Torn Tooth Anomaly. It literally existed for a thousand years and no one figured it out. So the first spear was very pleased. In fact, he doubled his donation. Okay. So you're getting a thousand gold pieces instead of the 200 to 500 you were promised. Oh, yes. I just need all of you to understand the importance of abiding by the rules. We're sorry, Professor, but we had a we had a hunch and we thought we could make a difference. I get that. I get that. But you need to understand that, that, that after you graduate and go out into the world, you are either going to work in your nation's military or work for... Uh, a government directly or work for a, a wealthy merchant or somebody who is going to expect you to follow their instructions. Nelios, if you returned home, if you returned home to Seven Claw Canyon and you were given a mission and you disobeyed your orders, how do you think that would work for you? I would be cast as out. Probably not be in the military any longer. Right. 
that's that's just that's the lesson I'm trying to get across is it worked out and that's fantastic and you're getting extra money because of it but you need to understand that if it doesn't work out next time there could be horrible results for you I feel like I'm getting lectured for real we, we understand <laughs> professor and we're sorry <laughs> Teresa <laughs> What do you mean we have to work after this? Right. But you do. <laughs> I, mean, oh. <laughs> I forgot she doesn't even want to be here. <laughs> Dean, have you ever heard of a pink flame named Cammy? Oh, God. Not now, Yarrow. <laughs> do I have to do that? Uh, uh, no, what does she have to do with anything? Well, this mission was all about oh. her, I think. I think oh. in the end. All right, you're really confusing me. Um, oh, by the way, I, one. This is Joe. One thing I missed was, um, Parasni was supposed to give you 700 gold pieces for finding the shield too. Oh shit! So I'm gonna add that. Yeah, that's to your money. Okay. Um, I hand the nice. dean 10 gold and say this. This is uh, a donation on behalf of Cami. So I put I put the money in the party inventory. You guys can spread that out however you want. Smashy, next time there's an item in the inventory, pull it out of there instead of adding a new one. Okay. Um. He says, um, all right, now you're back, and that means back to class. But first, I'd like you to meet Felony Prenotari, criminal librarian. Wait a second. Over the next year, she is going to be helping you with a bonus assignment. The school is gearing up for some top secret assignments in Alaray. You will very, very likely be involved. So Felony will be helping you after hours and studying up on undead creatures and how to kill and avoid them. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Uh, Professor, can can we give you a bit more unfinished details about Thorntooth before we continue? Um, I just want to tell him about, about yeah. the hand and um, the clock tower axing the lake. I mean, you guys want to tell him everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me do one. He rolled pretty good. Um, he's going okay. So we don't have to role play all that out. But when you're done, he says, um, "So you do you think that hand was a titan?" Yes, that's what we yes. think. It. I mean, the time based effects, the fact that they fought there. Uh, I don't know what other power could caused that and I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, yeah, we'll have to look into that. We'll or at least have Festus look into that. That's very interesting. If the the body of a dead Titan lies there and still has some sort of power, I wonder if we could do something with that. Hmm, very interesting. Well, I have to be off. I want to go talk to Prasny about this shield. Okay. Uh. Sh yeah. Shit. Yeah, I don't think we were supposed to mention the shield. Yeah, he. So he leaves. Yeah, Prasny definitely didn't want you to mention the shield. Rook. I misheard him. <laughs> yeah, that was like the first thing you said. <laughs> you can't brag about the shield. We got, we got the shield. <laughs> what shield? I was trying to, I was trying to shush you guys because Travis. Then you started going off too. <laughs> I know. I, it really threw me. <laughs> I thought got, that I had to go with it at that shield. point. What? <laughs> <It's> like, <"Shh." laughs> all right. Well. That goes down, however that goes down. You guys wouldn't know about it. Um, 
Is there anything you guys want to do before we time jump? We're going to jump ahead like a full month. Um, I don't think so. I don't have anything planned. All right. Let's just go to it then. <clears throat> All right. Um, I got to go to the calendar. We are jumping all the way to winter 47th. Burr. Um, it's, we're, we're in a very warm area. Uh, okay. Oh, it's by the equator. It's winter 47th, 1081. And you are nearing the end of your second year at the Academy. You have been called again to Gulvier Hall for a mission. But instead of Lauren Steelbilly, Dean of Missions, you are met by Xenophia Sof Sophos, a female High Elf Druid, and the Dean of Alchemy. You have met her before. She has long red hair with leaves woven into it, and wears a cream toga with green embroidery that looks like vines. Um, she neither wears nor carries a single piece of metal. She explains that the Otterway Islands have commissioned the Academy to help them find a solution to an illness that has been spreading across Vidra, which is one of the three islands. You guys see the Ottawa Islands on the map? Yep. All right, Vidra it's is out. the... Yeah, you can see the islands are, are labeled there. Yep, Vidra is the north one. Um, they have moved all the sick people to the Temple of Rada at the middle of the island but none of the priests there have been able to cure the illness. It's taking everything they have just to keep people from dying. We don't have any details on the illness other than people will eventually die without aid. A Vortmirian doctor is coming to the academy by ship, and you are going to escort him to the temple. He's a male drow named Dr. Adelard Vaslo. Um, you have two jobs. Protect Dr. Vaslow and aid him in any way he needs to cure the illness. Um, one of the professors is going to use a teleportation circle to send you to Cobalt Village, a village on Mona Chicos that has a circle known to the Academy. The way teleportation circle works is you can use it wherever. It takes a little time to use it, and then you, you can only teleport to a place that has an existing circle that you know the code for. And so they can't just send you anywhere. They have to send you to this Cobalt Village because that's where they know of a circle. From there, okay. you will travel. So, so Cobalt Village is about right here. Okay. And from there, you're going to travel to Lofos Hill, which is on the other side of the island. And you're going to take a ship to Vidra. And you're going to land like right here. And then from there, you're going to travel to the temple, which is at the middle of the island. There you will meet Archbishop, Archbishop Votoria de Malt, who will be assisting the doctor. He's an Archbishop of Rada. So there's the Archbishop I, was, I should have given you. That's the guy you're the guy you're um, escorting. Um, after you complete your mission, you will return to the ship, which will sail you back here. Um, okay. So at this point, do the players have any questions about this mission? Um, they're not expecting us to actually cure this. They are expecting the drought to cure it. Th their hope is that between the Archbishop and the Doctor, they can cure it. You are there to escort him so that he doesn't get killed on the way, because ultimately he's just a regular guy, and a monster attack right. would kill him. And then number two, if he needs you to do anything for him that would help yeah. in in solving the thing... We need this like, ingredient. Go to the monster's caves to, you know, whatever. Go, you know, go, yeah, go do this. Go take samples. Shove sticks up people's asses. 
I need okay. you to uh, administer a thousand enemas. <laughs> what can yeah. you tell us about the disease? Well, so the school doesn't really know anything. Okay. Um, Doctor Doctor Vaslo should be able to give you more information about what actually is going on. Even if I do anything, I wouldn't understand how it works. Okay. I feel good about it. Hmm. Go to the circle, go to Lofos Hill, go across the water, go to the temple, find yeah. the cure, come back. Yep. So we're meeting him once we teleport there? No, he's he's or taking he's, a, he's, he's taking a ship from Vortmeyer to the school. And then when he gets your when he gets there, you're going to teleport. We'll he's teleport gonna be together. here tomorrow, gotcha. so that, that gives you guys an opportunity to hit the store and see if you want to buy anything with all the money all the money you have now. Rich. Um, Do we want to split up that money, by the way? Just take sure. a Oh, yeah, that's a lot of money. Take a... Or do the split split currency among party button. Yeah. Okay, there's two gold in there. So... But they can stay there. Must be absolutely need it. Okay. okay. Um, play, uh, so a player's side note on Doctors and Delvum. The best healers in the world use divine magic, but that's rare. Doctors use traditional science, though they don't have things like penicillin. Doctors and Delvum understand bacteria and how it can spread, and they understand food poisoning, traditional poison, and things like that. Sometimes they can do very low-level magic, and sometimes they use alchemy on top of medicinal chemistry. Using magic to heal individuals works, of course, but that doesn't just instantly end an epidemic. Dr. Vaslo is a very intelligent, non-magical doctor who can do some alchemy. So if there's a whole bunch of sick people, yeah, you can use magic to cure them. The problem is if there's a hundred sick people, you don't have that many spells. Mm. And the other problem would be, if it spreads fast enough, even if you had a ton of healers, it's going to spread faster than you can heal it. So that's why they need him to solve it. Your payment for this mission will be 1,500 gold pieces. It is very important to the Grand Nascent that this be resolved. The Grand Nascent is the leader of the Otterway Island. A lot of otters on these islands. Not really. Make a history check. You don't know why it's called that. Mm. If somebody Can I else... try? Sure. I'm smart now. Oh, I remember everything. Oh, wait, how do I... The hey, DC... my intelligence doesn't show... Huh? That's a smart after all, are you? Yeah, how, do I, how do I do this? <laughs> well, because it doesn't, sh uh, it's not going to add the stuff when I click it. Hold on. I mean, we could do it manually, but. Um, were, did we try to fix that and we didn't succeed or something? Uh, I don't think we actually tried. I think it was more of a we have to do it thing. But maybe you did. I don't know. We talked about it. I mean, it. Let's see if I can just get it quick, and if I can, great. Um, we want abilities, intelligence. Did it change? No. No. There's one more thing I, I can look at. If this doesn't work, we're going to move on and I'll figure it out later. Okay. Okay. It says you're attuned but not equipped. Let's do that. That didn't work. And then there should be thing for. <laughs> Yeah, 
There we go. That worked. Got it. Okay. <laughs> All right. God damn it. You don't know either. What is an otter? <laughs> okay. Okay. You guys can ask on the island. Sure. Nope. They don't know either. Nope. Um, you're told that the Grand Nascent because why not, is a male Leonin um, named Rix Tassos. Movodos is the capital. Leonin? I was going to say, I don't think I know what a Leonin is. It's a lion lion person. person. Yep. Yeah. Ooh. Before we do the shopping, do you guys want to look into the Outerway Islands at all? Like, how do you want to spend your, you have a day? Yeah, I guess see if there's a librarian knows if there's any books on the islands before we go. <clears throat> well, you know Felony now. There yeah, was the last card. Felony. I wrote. Oh, yeah, I'm going to your, um. Yeah, I didn't know how to spell that. I wrote Felony, I can't. Yeah. I put peanut tear. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. Prenotare. That's what it is. Yeah, I did not spell that it's that close. It's a felony, right, though? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, she's got, mm. she's got the, the line of fur across her eyes like a bandit. Okay, cool. I yeah, we'll like ask her. Of, if, uh... I just like the idea that her title is criminal librarian. Yeah, that's and funny. she's a bandit. Okay, not, any, not anymore, I guess. Yeah, she is she a criminal librarian or a criminal librarian? Yeah, um, they ask her that. She says both. Interesting. Mm. All right. Are there are there any books on the outer outer way island history? Yes. What do you want to learn? Um. First off, why is it named that? Okay. Let's see if you can find it. Um. Okay. Make a history check this time at advantage. Damn it. Well, you don't find the answer. All right. Gotta be otters. Infested with what otters. About what the difference is between the three islands? Is there any strife? Is it all peace? Is it. Yep, somebody else roll. Whoever thinks they care about this. I care. A little. <laughs> I'll try again. Wow. Oh, yeah, I don't know anything. Oh, we're so dumb. Yeah, you guys don't find any difference between the islands. Okay. Uh, I would be interested in the foods that are growing naturally there. Okay. What their diets are. That's what I'm into. Okay, go ahead. Um, not with advantage this time? Just no. regular straight up? Yes. Okay, you'll get some the 14. Sweet.
<sighs> I should have a thing right here. I was looking at it the other day. Um, Okay, they have a lot of tropical fruits. Um, coconuts, pineapples, mm -hmm. watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew, bamboo, hemp, uh, fish, crab, lobster, and they have a lot of honey and syrup. They're also mm -hmm. known to export hemp and canvas. Export Export hemp and canvas. Mm -hmm. No mention of eating otters. No. And I ask what uh, religions or bishops and archbishops, cardinals are present in those islands? Yeah. Make a um, history or religion check. Boop. Ooh, good roll. Okay. So Obviously, um, Rada, right? There's an archbishop on Vidra. Um, there is a um, archbishop of Anat. Um, there is the uh, cardinal of Julissa is in Movodos, the capital. Um, there is actually an archbishop and a cardinal of Tavalan. Um, the archbishop of Tavalan is actually in Cobalt Village, and the cardinal is in Movoldos. And, uh, archbishop of Mekelt. Also in Movoto. That's all of them. I'm good, I think. Yeah, I have nothing of interest that I want to look into. Okay. Um, so we can jump through the shopping. Um, so if you guys go to the journal, go to player notes, and then go to Edlisol Hall, has the list of what they're selling and how much it costs if you want to just figure out if there's anything you think would be useful for this trip you've got all your money mm <laughs> I should get some rations anyway. Oh yeah, we probably should have used rations on the way back. Sure. How many did we use? Um, it was like six days. Okay. So twelve from me. Got fourteen. So I'm done to twenty-eight. 
Mm-hmm. How much are rations again? I got There's rations on there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I thought of it, I guess. Let me see. Oh, oh. Ram, I was, saw ramen of nourishment, ration, and free hit die. That was what it was. Uh-huh. Rations are cheap. Let me see here. Um, <sighs> Sometimes it takes forever to look up simple shit for some reason. I can't remember where it is. So if you just add rations to this list. Five silver pieces per ration. Five silver pieces. Get 20 rations. I'll get 12. Back up to 40. That's six gold. Mm-hmm. Oh, which gold would I help? I don't know math. Oh, tell me what you want. Yeah. Mm, let's see. I have 14 rations. I think I should probably just go back up to 20. So I'll just do six. Okay. Three gold. That was easy. Yeah. Just half. Thanks, Travis. Big folding. How, how much if I want 20 rations? 10 gold. Okay. I want to get a bag of holding. 400 gold. You have to, you don't have to tune to a bag of holding, do you? Mm-mm. What's the bag of colding? Cold. It's a refrigerator. <laughs> I think I want to buy that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is perfect for a cook. Yeah, I'll buy that. That way I can buy food that will last in storage. It's like having a walk in freezer that you can bring with you. Sounds great for me. Uh, let's see. Are we just looking at. Where are you guys looking? At LaSalle Hall in the notes section. I can press a button to make it pop up, Teresa. Yes, please. Mm. <laughs> oh, thank you. Do I want a cloak? Cloak of many fashions? Yeah, I'm a sorcerer, so I should have a cloak. Mm-hmm. That's true. Doesn't do anything. Change style really. and color. You can change what you look like. It's a little cloak. Pretty cool. You just change the cloak, not what you look like. True. But you can change what the cloak looks like. It's pretty cool. And you can change it based on your mood. Mm. Uh oh, Baruch's hungry again. This cloak's pink. Pinky. Pink. <laughs> Pink with anger. Hunger. <laughs> Hunger. No one talked yeah. to Baruch. His cloak's red. <laughs> they have an adornment. <laughs> What's wrong, buddy? Your cloak's blue. <laughs> <laughs> a mood ring. <laughs> it's just a mood ring cloak. I want to get the well if I get the ash fire paste would that work with my fire rune um I think it boosts fire damage on spells yeah when a spellcaster casts a spell that deals fire damage and which requires material components, this item can be added to the material components and add it, its spell casting ability modifier to one damage roll. Mm. Excuse me. 
So if you're if you're if you're you have like twenty charisma, when you cast the fire spell, you could add five to the damage. I think I'm gonna get the bottle of boundless coffee. It just sounds fun. Uh, the cakes. Supplement cakes. I actually didn't read what I saw that. I didn't read what they do. You eat it and you're immune to all disease for 24 hours. Oh. It's a lot. Very expensive, though. I guess we could get one or two just. Wait, where are we going, and why are we going there? Because of uh, yeah, we're going because of a disease. But disease, then maybe I should stock up on these cakes. How many cakes are we gonna buy? They're seventy-five gold each. You don't need them, Nelios. You're already immune. Yeah, yeah. I don't even need them. Well, I'm taking one. <laughs> look at your look at your condition immunities. I know, I know. Now you said I remember. I can't be diseased. All diseased. Yeah, uh, this is perfect uh, for me. He's a paladin. Oh, bless you. Oh, bless you. Um, I think I'm gonna. What's actually? Hold on. I'm going to get two potions of healing. Good idea. Risky. Why is that risky? It's, it's not. It's the most conservative oh. thing you could do. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going somewhere with that. <laughs> oh, what did I just do? Yeah, the wrong thing. You want anything, Smashy? I don't think so. Can anyone use a bomb? Clouds? Yeah, anyone can use a bomb. I mean, let's see what it says. It just says you throw it. I'm just wondering if it's if it's a type of weapon. It doesn't seem to be. It just says as an action. So you put, yeah, just a range a range weapon attack. You're a, you're good at every weapon, so you can use anything really. No, I know. I think I'm gonna get a bomb. Why not? Right. Yeah, so you useful. <laughs> Never know. Just, just remember that you have it. Sick people. Remember, remember the time Rob <laughs> threw a bomb like at a fire elemental. <laughs> oh, he did that all the time. <laughs> and like, like it hit the elemental and blew up, and I was like, "Yeah, nothing happens. It's, it's made out of fire." Like, he doesn't... did that more. We all did that shit, but he did that more than anyone. Yeah. All right, we're fighting an acid elemental. All right, I'm gonna use an acid arrow. <laughs> right. Damn it, Rob! It's the one thing. Like, I think he threw the bomb, and I was like, I'm not even going to do the saving throw. It, bo a bomb is not going to hurt a fire elemental. It's literally made of fire. He's like, what about also, the shrapnel? I was like, it does fire damage. It, there's, like, it says it in the description. It's not. I bought a cake. Nice. Supplement cake? cake yeah. Good idea. Mm -hmm. Really, everyone besides me should probably get a cake. Just so they don't die of disease while we're there. Can I get? Do you want a cake? I'll I'll get a cake. Okay, just calm down. Um, <laughs> okay. 
I, I'm gonna get a potion of animal friendship too. Ooh. Use that, and then use the pokeball, and there we go. We got ourselves Case some there's friends. otters. Case there's Case otters. otters. That's so cute. <laughs> Can't wait to capture all these otters in the monster ball. <laughs> Island must be filled with otters. It's gotta be. Everybody run, it's the Otter Queen! <laughs> She's riding an otter the size of a horse. Cyrene so becomes an Otter Queen. <laughs> Has her own nation now. Never have to work again. We can leave the name the same Otter Islands. She yeah. conquers Otterway Islands. Okay. I've bought everything I want to buy. <laughs> Me too. I think I'm good. You know what? I'm buying that cloak. We're buying the cloak. Good job. Buying the cloak. Buy the cloak. Don't forget we have that fog machine. Like Baruch, yeah, who's taking the fog machine? Baruch is in the store, like pacing for like an hour. <laughs> just you know what? Just Fuck it. The I'm gonna buy the cloak. <laughs> We're all gone. <laughs> Guys sweeping. Huh? Oh, you're still here. We're we're closed. <laughs> Who took the fog machine? Um, we never decided. Uh, we didn't. No, I don't think so. It was on my list of things to talk about. Okay, yeah. Who wants the file machine? I, I think I we. The party in I think we briefly discussed it, but we didn't come to the decision. Um. Also, for your guys' reference, if there's ever a time I give you guys something and nobody takes it, it went into Baruch's mouth. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fog machine in Brook's mouth. Blech. I mean, I could take it if no one wants to take it. I don't want it. His mouth uh, is just... a bag of holding. That's that's why. I should buy a bag of holding too. A bag of holding and a bag of holding. <laughs> I really should have one. You I should put your bag of holding inside Brook's mouth. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a bag of holding too, Joseph. Okay, does somebody put a bag of holding inside Baruch's mouth? No. No. Not unless he wants me to. No. Doesn't that like cause an explosion or something? Yeah, I think that destroyed the fabric of time. Yeah. Yeah, it basically becomes a black hole. Mm. I have a bag of holding and a bag of holding now, so I should be able to store all the things. One inside the other, I'm sure it's not the it's same. Just, when you do it, any creature within 10 feet of of this um, is sucked through to a random location on the astral plane. Damn. Good to know. If we ever had to get out a uh, pinch. The transportation is one way and can't be reopened. I mean, you don't have a way to get back right now. Yeah, so it would just be completely fucked. She wouldn't be dead. Well, you would be dead because your head would explode. Yeah. Hmm. It That's says the good I- alternative. <laughs> instantly, <laughs> my destroys, body would transport. It says it instantly destroys both items, and like it's your head. So. <laughs> hmm. What a way to All die! Right. I'm good with the store. Are we ready to go, everybody? Mm-hmm. All right. In the morning, uh, you guys meet Dr. Vaslo. Jesus. <laughs> Dr. Vaslo is completely covered head to toe, just such that you can't see any skin. He wears yeah. black boots with gray and brown pants that might actually be attached to the boots. He wears a very long light gray shirt with a black leather coat over top with attached long brown gloves. And the coat has attached black and green cape. He wears a wide-brimmed black hat, and the rest of his head is covered in brown leather. His face is covered by a metal and leather plague mask, which makes him look like a kenku, and his eyes are covered by glowing green glass. He has a dark cane in his hand and carries two bags full of supplies. 
<clears throat> no, obviously there isn't exact art for a character like this. Um, but this is generally what he's going for. I thought they said we were meeting with a drow, not a crow. So anyway, that's that's what he looks like for the most part. Pretty cool. Which Plague doctor, doctor type? Plague doctor. doctor. Doctor, should we have uh, more coverings like you? I mean, if you have something, that would not be a bad idea. I don't need it. I'm immune. You see, I wear clothing like this to avoid getting sick myself. I worry that I might catch something on the way to the temple, which might trick me into thinking I've caught the illness myself. So I'm just being careful and a little paranoid. That's fair. Uh, you guys want to put like cloth over your mouths so at, le- at the very least? Yeah. I don't know Not that. It, I don't know that it's important that you do that yet. Maybe yeah. when we get to the islands. Of course, we are teleporting there, so it's up to you. They sound a little I'll paranoid. Do it before we teleport. I am absolutely paranoid. I am a plague doctor. So what what do you have you heard about this disease? Good question. Just a second. Um <clears throat> Uh, well, apparently it works in a type of uh, stages, as the longer you have it, the worse it gets. It seems to start with um, a fever, and then you begin to develop gross postules all over your body, um, followed by weakness and intense pain, and eventually uh, queasiness. And uh, overpower- overpowering le- lethargy. Uh, eventually, the pain gets worse until you reach a state of complete delirium, and uh, eventually, it kills you. Oh, that sounds awful. That sounds really bad. I mean, <clears throat> and if it weren't catching so quickly, this is the kind of thing that the Temple of Rata would be able to handle on its own, but the fact that they've called me in means that it's a real problem. I'm actually a follower of Rata myself, so uh, I should be able to work with them pretty well. How long is this going to take? I mean, if I knew that, I'd probably already have the solution. Okay, um, well, let us know what you need from us, and we should get going. Any idea how it's spread? Uh, not really. They haven't managed to figure that out yet. Mm -hmm. It seems quite contagious, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Only one cake. I want to go back to the store and buy a cake. Or buy a second cake. Right. I know, I kind of want yeah, another cake. I'm going to buy a second cake. You guys want to store it in my, my cold bag of colding? <laughs> Fresh? It's good for six months. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Fine. Does it will last longer if it's in your bag of colding? I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Oh, I'll store mine in there. Yeah, what if you don't even use it, you know? I've got two of them. Um, my bag can hold up to 200 pounds, so without me having to put it in my bag, let's just assume that it's in there. And you can just put it in your inventory. 
That way I know it's yours. Right, good. Everyone good with their cakes? Mm -hmm. Go good with my the my boundless coffee. Everybody good? Yep. Okay. Um. All right. Um. Since you're all ready. You and Dr. Faslow get teleported all the way to Cobalt Village. So let's do Otterway Islands. Otterway Islands. Activate. Oh no, we're surrounded by otters as soon as we got here. God. I prepared for this. <laughs> otters are vicious. <laughs> You guys are right there. That's Cobalt Village. Um, you arrive in the center of Cobalt Village, where there is a teleportation circle. You find yourselves suddenly in the village square. Directly in front of you is a 12-foot painted stone statue of a human with hair made of brown and white feathers. Nearby, seemingly waiting for you, is a male Leonin with a mane also made of brown and white feathers and a female spring Aladrin. Um, a spring Aladrin is like a green and yellow skinned elf covered in leaves. I didn't get any of that written down. Um, I will. I started writing human on the first one, but I think you said I had feathers. <laughs> and then I erased it and I missed all the rest of it. There you go. <laughs> okay, can you start with the things? <laughs> Oh, it was a human. Okay. All right. I'm going to put you guys actually I was in right. Cobalt Village now. Can you see this map? Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. You are right there. Center of town. Is you know there I any... I need to get the Super Nintendo Zelda town music. Do 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 Zelda music. Is there any um writing on the statues to tell what it's a statue of? I mean there there are two people standing there like waiting for you, so if you wanna start looking at the statue and ignore them, you can. <laughs> oh sorry. no, I won't do that. You can look after, okay? I promise. Sure. Um, they let's see the um the Leonin says, "Well, hello there, and welcome to our small village. I am the Cobaltus." Hello. Oh, uh, I'm kind of like the mayor of Cobalt Village. Ah. Oh, nice to meet you. Well, nice to meet you. Are you students? This must be the doctor. Hello, Dr. Vaslow. Um, he hello. Yeah, we're the students. We're, our group's known as the Mystic Misfits. Uh, which? Oh, I don't think it was that one. Is that our name? That's our inc incognito name, I thought. Either way. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that means. <laughs> what? When we're it's, not... It, we're, we're not supposed we're to be not, students. Yeah. Or off the books. Whoa! Yes! Yes, around here we love names like that! That's fantastic! Good for you! I think we should Thank use you. that name. I guess we're going to use that name from now on, regardless of what we are. Yes, yep. it's fantastic. I like it a lot. Oh, we've got yes. a lot of thought into it. Yeah, it's so good. Things, yeah, yeah, I can tell. Jeez. That's fantastic. Oh, I just, I, that's great. This is the so best thing these... I've heard all day. 
islands called the Otterway Islands. Are there a lot of otters here? We're very no, interested. no, that's silly. No, uh, back in back in the olden days, they used to call these the Out of the Way Islands, and you know, lazy speech. It just kind of became Otterway. Yeah. Stupid. Ah, you know, out away islands, out away, right? Out away. It's kind of funny. <laughs> I like it. And now it's just called Otter Way. All right. But no otters. No, no, no. But our village, our village was founded by none other than Jeff Cobalt, and he points at the statue. I don't know why I you're gonna yeah. say Jeff Otter Way. <laughs> 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 Yes, my ancestor, actually. Oh. I am Cobaltus Tom Cobalt. Oh. Descendant of the great Jeff Cobalt of the Reckoneers. Mm. Very impressive, sir. You guys have all heard of the Reckoneers. They were the most famous group of heroes from the Great Break. Ah. Here! Ooh. Here, have a book! Thank um, you. And he gives you guys um, <laughs> a book. Uh, let's see. Player notes. Uh, no, wait, yeah, books. You guys already have some books. Um, he gives you a book called The Reckoneers, Mortals of Providence. Who did he hand it to? I Me. I took it. Okay. I want to sit down on the ground and immediately start reading it. Jeez. Daphne, what are you doing? Well, I'm you excited. can read it. If you go to the journals, go to player notes, and then there's a books folder. It's actually the second book you guys have. You also have Fantastic Wonders of Delvum Volume 1, if you remember that. Mm-hmm. Would you like some coffee and a blanket while you read your book? Yes, please. <laughs> Lisa, do you want to tell them anything about what you read? Oh, oh I'm still reading it. Yeah, Joe. Jeez. All right. Getting character. This you takes can, time. You can. Th- they'll keep talking while you read, and you can tell them later what you learn. Okay. Um. Uh, this year, this is this is uh, Archbishop Cass Springtree. She's the arch. She's actually an Archbishop of Tavilland. She, she runs the temple here. Wow! Nice Spring, to meet you, Spring Tree. What was her name? Yes, yeah, Spring Tree. Tavilland isn't someone here. Uh, a follower of Tavilland? Not me. Not me. Daphne. I was reading. Cyrene doesn't yeah. follow anyone. Tavalan? Aren't you a follower of Tavalan? Yes. Well, what this, about him? This <laughs> archbishop here is a uh, bishop of Tavalan. Really? Yes. Where is he? Yes, sir. What? Where is he? Tavalan? <laughs> I, I wouldn't know. No, the no. archbishop. That's me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> She's reading. Clearly. <laughs> I was really, I was really into she, reading. She's the spring Aladrin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is he? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where Tavlin is. No, the Archbishop. <laughs> oh, that was good. You done first. <laughs> Sorry, I really was reading. Um, all right, I don't have anything to say right now. I feel like I'm just in awe, staring at him. Her, her. Her. Sorry. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> I mean, I guess a guy could be named Cass, but she's not. It's a girl. Okay. Um, is there anything we can help you with before you head on to Lofos? Uh, doctor, anything? Um, I mean, oops. I mean, not really. Do we have to pay for uh, travel once we get to the water? Uh, no, or the nation be... is taking care of all of that. 
Gotcha. Um, I mean, we we need to have rations for the journey to Lofo Hill, but I mean, it's only going to take us a day, so it's not really a big deal. Um, okay. but I mean, we have time if you want to look around this town. It's not like it's very big. No offense, sure. Cabaltus. None taken. It's always been this small, and that's the way we <laughs> like it. <laughs> I love him. Any, anything you know about the disease? No, I don't know what. I mean, it, it's really, it's really contained to Vidra right now. It's not so much hitting our island, but I was really hoping you'd be more impressed about Jeff Cobalt. I mean, most people are pretty impressed. We are very, very impressed. I mean, yeah, he I couldn't he was, be more impressed. He was, he was one of the reckoners, you know. Are you just as strong as him? Uh, well, I mean, he was really more known for being a great fighter. I, I can assume he was pretty strong, but I mean, I'm a Leonin, so I would hope I'm stronger. Do you want to fight? What? N- not really, no. No. All right. I, again, I'm not a fighter, but oh. I'm the Cobaltus. What's the best thing about Cobalt Village? Besides Jeff. Oh, probably the syrup. What's so famous about the syrup? Is it, is it's it... great. It's fantastic. Okay. People come Anything from all over to it? taste our syrup. The taste. Where can we get some? Yes. Well, you can go to the syrupery. The syrupery, okay. Yeah, it's on the map. It's, thing. it's, it's, it's numbered. It's it. building 10. Uh, I, I was zoomed in. I... I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'll check out the syrupery, I guess. He, he he hands you a map that looks just like the one on your screen. Yes, it's building okay. building 10! <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, he hands you the map, and... You, like, nice. hold it over your head. <laughs> We need the well, compass. Drawn map. We need the compass. You gotta find the boss. There was a compass we could have bought at the store. Mm. It tells us where the boss is on every map. <laughs> That's <laughs> the compass, though, yeah. Yeah, Chris. Jeez. Okay. Um, let's go to some places, I suppose. You don't you guys don't have to, but if you want to, it's here. So we probably don't need to go to Cobaltus' office. I want to talk to the Archbishop. Okay. Well, that, hello I don't there. Know. Oh, what's, okay. your, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> My name is Daphne Petridi. Well, it's nice to meet you. It's Ca- very Cass nice Spring to Street. meet you. Well. I'm from... I'm from Gardenia. My family comes from a long line of avatars for Tavalan. Oh! Oh! Yes, I've heard about that. That's that's great! Uh, so, yeah. do you think, is your family related to Tavalan, or is it just more of a servant thing? Mm, I suppose it's possible we're related. But I don't know for sure. Hmm. Or we have just I just come from a long line of, of AIDS. Of of what now? Of AIDS for Tavalan. AIDS. 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 Yes. Ah, I see. Mm-hmm. That's very interesting. Yes, I I've heard some very good things. Um is your is your mother the current uh the current servant, the current avatar? I'm taking over. Oh yes. Well congratulations, yes. Uh, what what year student are you? Uh, second year. Oh, you st- okay. You have a little bit left. Then you, you know, um, the Cobaltus is actually a descendant of Tavalan. Hmm. That's the it, guy that was yelling. Yes, yes. He's quite loud. He's quite loud. But <laughs> you see, Jeff Cobalt. <coughs> Jeff Cobalt, one of the reckoners. He, um. He was um, pretty closely actually related to Tavalan, and that was the reason for how powerful he was uh, during the Great Break. Uh, it's also the reason for his 
the replacement of his hair with feathers, you see. Um, mm. And uh, he was a human, of course. Tom is a Leonin, but, well, it's been a thousand years, and things happen. Mm -hmm. um, but, yes, as you can see, his mane is also made of feathers rather than fur. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, yes. So, I mean, has he ever spoken to you? Um, I don't know. Has he? <laughs> I can't even remember now. I feel like no. But you I do wear his so. mask. Yeah. But I do wear his mask. Hmm. That's very interesting. My mother that's, can. That's, that, that's a very I mean, there are a few artifacts like that. It's very impressive. Thank you. Okay, well, just very pleasant to meet you. Yes, it was very nice meeting you, too. I, I rarely meet uh, followers of Tavaland from from other places. You know, I mean, he is, but you're going to like it in the Outerway Islands because he's actually the most worshipped deity here. Well, thank you. Been talking with weird voices too much, and now I can't stop coughing. <laughs> um, yeah, um, um, we're big fans of of uh, of nature, you know, here um, on the Ottawa, Ottawa Islands. <clears throat> Sounds like I will fit in very well here. I believe that you will. I believe that you will. Thank well, you. It was and, nice and to meet you. Nice to meet you. Call on me anytime if you need something. I will. All right. Did you want to tell them about the book? Yeah, the book has a lot more information um, than what even the Academy knows on these heroes. Ooh, like what? Mm, it doesn't say right now. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's when you, have to make a <laughs> when you have to make a check about the reckoner she's really good at it now because yeah. she read the book um daphne uh... now has a plus five to any skill check related to recalling information that specifically involves the reckoner hmm. okay did they fight all over the all over the um planet content what, what do i call <clears throat> this place so everyone everyone you've ever known or talked to, including yourselves, considers Delvum to be the world. Gotcha. So they're world famous, uh, so, Daphne, do you think? Yeah. Yes, they're very famous in okay. Delvum. And there were six of them total. Jeff Cobalt, okay. Fluke, Nivera Duskweaver, Remna the Truth, Parleos. Oh, no. There's five. Okay, there's five. Sorry, Remna, the truth, and then Silni. Oh, Silni sounds familiar. What is it? What's that from? He was a <laughs> male Goliath barbarian. Why does that name sound familiar? Make a history check. <clears throat> <clears throat> Me? Yeah, you're the one who thinks he remembers. Natural twenty. The lake near Torntooth was called Lake Silni. Um. Um. And the family of Shatter Kai in Torntooth, their last name was Duskweaver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's nine. Remember the, the the um the carpenter. Yeah, they were the Duskweavers. Yeah, and she's the Nivera is the Shatter Kai warlock. No. And Fluke is a male tiefling rogue. Remna the Truth is a female dwarf cleric of Parleos. Okay. No, no birds. No birds. Jeff, and obviously Jeff is a human fighter. Half of them were dragonborns, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, sweet. Mm-hmm. It was written by know. Tim Tim Tom Brown. Tim Tom Brown, great. Tim Tom Brown, who the hell is right. he? Right, I don't know. 
I do like that name, though. Tim Tom. <laughs> I don't know. This is Tim Tom. Yes. Was he a contemporary? Or was this written, like, years later? It was... Uh, oh, I just X'd out of it. It was written in 210 AB. When did, was, when, did the, when did the great break start? So it was zero AB, right? <laughs> so then when did know. it end? 1080 D. You guys actually would know when it ended. <laughs> when did it end? So let me let me pull up the timeline quick. Pull up the timeline quick. You guys yeah, actually pull have, it up. You guys have the goddamn timeline. Click on it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joe. For doing that for us. <laughs> End you... of the Great Break, four twenty-five eight. Kind of so in the middle of it. Eight. No, no, four dash twenty-five dash eight. It says. Does that make sense? So, like April twenty-fifth. I think it's actually winter 25th, right? Winter 25th, what that means. yep. Of the year 8. So this was written 200 years later. Mm. And what happened about 200 years later? The Pact of Diaphanous ended. Yep. Huh. The book was written shortly before that. Yeah, what's that about? I mean, it doesn't have to mean anything. It's just so that it gives you an idea. I well, the every book, book after that, every book in this game that that I've like have that exists, um, has a written date. It's my main timeline has all of the book written dates on it. Cool. We want to search the rest of this place next week, or? Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. <clears throat> okay. So, yeah, we can close it up there. We didn't use the inspiration, so Chris still has it for next time. Too strong. Does someone want to roll for something? Quick. Yeah, if he wants to use it. <clears throat> oh. Um... What's something crazy about the Rickoneers that we that might be in the book? Did they kill any any Titans? Teresa, that's a good. Question. I guess roll with advantage because Gus is using the thing. It's going to be history five. history plus five at advantage because of Chris. So a nineteen. Oh. <clears throat> so you're wondering, did they kill any Titans? Yeah. It does say in there that they fought Titans, but they did not kill any. Okay. Did they mention the what's the the Titan of Time? Capsulon. Mm -hmm. Did they mention him? Um, I don't think so. I think that he was killed by Gulliver. Yeah. I know he was killed by him, but I didn't yeah, know if they I'm had pretty, any. I'm pretty sure. Oh, any interaction with him at all? Yeah, I was just curious. Yeah, I mean, probably, but not not anything significant. Mm. Um. Okay. Um. What did you get? A 19. Um, in looking for that, you actually find in the book that Naivara is literally from Torn Oh. Hmm. She was she was from Torn hmm. So. Hmm. So what do you come on? What do you? It was so a thousand years ago? If this, they were, if they this, were stuck there, could her relatives still be alive? That's what I was thinking. 
it could she have had family there while it seems quite likely that that was her family oh oh that's cool as fuck that is cool should we go back <laughs> she wasn't there eventually was she? <laughs> she wasn't she there. Was Remember, there there was just one daughter but there was and you guys kind of didn't realize that there was an extra empty room. No, I don't remember that at all. Well, the list? Ryan climbed in through the window. <laughs> Ryan usually yeah. searches the girls' rooms, yes. Right. I did. Yeah, but I've been paying attention to the yeah. history. If, if you had talked, <laughs> you, you, did, you did talk to him about like where, where they were from and yada, 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 and they said they came here from Fort Myer. But if you had talked to him about the family or whatever, they would have mentioned, oh, yeah, we have a daughter. Or another daughter, and she's da, da 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 not here. He's not usually thinking about history when he's sneaking through women's rooms. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> vote for new inspiration. Daphne, um, for reading the book. Daphne, yeah. Daphne, for sure. <laughs> Daphne. Daphne. Daphne oh. wins. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. All right, guys. I will see you next. I had a lot of a lot of fun this week, guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good and job, hopefully, everybody. hopefully, I'll kill all of you next time. <laughs> nah, not if I have something to say about it. Yeah, not over my not bunny f- body. <laughs> <laughs> my bunny. Not over my bunny body. <laughs> all right. I'll see you guys. Yep. Bye, guys. Okay.